What's up guys, the Pocket here and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make your Android device look like iOS 9. So let's get started. Apple released iOS 9 about 3 days ago from Apple WWDC keynote and it actually came with plenty of new features. Also we haven't seen any major changes on its design and its layout. So that's a good step because iOS 7, iOS 9 is actually pretty, pretty much the same with as iOS 8 and iOS 7. So let's get started. The first app that you need to download from Google Play Store is called iLauncher. iLauncher looks like this and you need to pay about $2.95 to, to get it. As we have downloaded, press on the app and here you will see that uh, it's actually the same, pretty much the same as the uh, iOS nine so if you scroll up down you notice that you have the same uh, search bar as the iOS 9 you type an app here and all the apps will be up here and also if you keep pressing on the app you will notice that they start to wiggle if you press on app you have the option to change the icon to change the title and change and set this app up or no where is it and also even hide an app this is a good way to change the icons of the apps and add the I, the original iOS uh, icons. The icons, the, you can find the icons from the web. Just find where it says uh, photos and you'll see the icons. In order to make it as default launcher, keep pressing on the home button. Go where it says uh, task manager and go on clear defaults and where it says that which home or stuff like that, hit clear. Press the home button again, select iLanter. Again, hit the home button and set as always. And now iLanter will be your default launcher. Also you can delete the app uh, as you keep pressing on the app. So let's find an app. So I'm gonna want to delete that. I'm gonna hit the cross. Oh sorry, I'm gonna hit exactly the cross. And if I hit uninstall, the app will be temporarily removed from my device. The second app that I need to download is called Lock Screen iOS 9. This is a free app from uh, Google Play Store to download. And what it does it change your um, your lock screen? So where it says enable screen lock, hit that, check that. Then go back. And turn off your phone. Turn it on. Turn on again. And there you go. Actually, this is the same as the iOS 9. Also, you can set a pin if you want. I'm gonna set the pin as 1111. I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna confirm the password, and I am, I am good. Also, if you turn on your device, you might have the default la lock screen of your Android device. So to, to disable that, go on settings, go on my device, go on lock screen, and set a screen lock known. This will actually turn off your, uh, your default lock screen of your device. The next app is called iNoti. iNoti I think is free from Google Play Store or you need to pay about two dollars to get. Click on the app, then go on Enable iNori, hit Accessibility, then go where it says Services and hit iNori. Check that box here, hit OK, then go back, and then go on not Notification, hit iNori, and hit OK. And then as you can see, if you scroll down from the, uh, th from the top of your screen, you notice that you have the same layout as same notification layout as the original iOS 9. Also here you have notification and here you have today. The next app is called Control Center. So this is a free app from Google Play Store and you need to upgrade to Pro version to access um, some more features. To start it, uh, hit uh, check this box, Start Service, hit Home button, and you'll see a little arrow coming from the bottom of the screen. Click that, 
scroll down up and here you will see the uh, editorial features of iOS you will see it has the flashlight here the clock here the camera app and also you can add yours also your memory the battery and how much uh, first page you have also you can set a music you can uh, play a music from here also can change the uh, the brightness and even some of uh, the basic features just like the iOS then the last app I'm not gonna call it app but APK is called iOS 7 keyboard so the iOS 9 keyboard which is called quick type uh, doesn't have many changes on on how it look but it it look like the same as the iOS 8 and iOS 7 not the same but has some main, some changes so to get this app you need to go on your web browser so the link is in the description to download it it's free of course and to download it you need to go on settings uh, first I'm gonna go to settings and go on more and hit security and check this box here so this will allow you to download uh, more application from out from the uh, Google Play Store so don't forget that before going to get download the uh, the APK after you have downloaded the APK go ahead and find it click on that and where it says the enable iOS 7 keyboard it says disable click on that and here where it says i keyboard then go back and where it says set as default iOS 7 keyboard it says not default click on that and where it says i keyboard check that then go back and go on and I'm going to check the, the new keyboard and as you can see here is actually the same keyboard as the iOS keyboard and look how and of course does have the words on of the of the top of the keyboard as uh, same as the iOS 8 but it actually look like so yep so that was the video for today guys I hope you enjoyed please subscribe to my channel to watch my latest videos and tutorials also make sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook fan page to watch my latest videos and my latest tutorials Thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you next time. Peace.